Good morning, everyone. Tiffany Quinn here with your new 7-Minute Strength segment. Every week right here on my YouTube, I'll be bringing you a new short and sweaty strength session that you can easily fit into your day to feel like your best and strongest self from start to finish. Now before we get started, just smash that thumbs up button for me, subscribe to the channel for a new segment every week, and get ready to go build, burn, and break your own boundaries with me. Now our first exercise is going to be a segmental bridge working on posterior tuck forward. So before I take you into our first position, let me just show you exactly what that means. So if I'm in a quadruped position and you're going to watch my hips here and I rotate in a, into posterior rotation, I'm essentially curling the hips forward towards the chin to create that curvature in the low back. This is going to help us imprint our spine down into the mat and then come up vertebrae by vertebrae once we get to those bridges. Likewise, if we were in an anterior arch, that's when we're gonna rotate back and you're gonna see that arch in the mid back. This is not what we want right now. So let's go ahead and go into our first positioning. Feet are in line with the hips, a little bit more than fist width distance apart. Flatten those feet to the mat and roll yourself back, digging your fingertips into the mat. Now before I start that timer, start curling the hips forward into posterior tuck and you're going to pull the belly button down to the spine to imprint it down to the mat. We want that core tight and the glutes squeezed and the hips tucked forward. Follow from here, I'm gonna start our timer in three, relax the head down, in two, and on one. All right, we are started. Now holding that tuck forward, we're gonna come up from the lower spine the mid spine to the upper spine, hold that tuck at the top, squeeze the glutes, and slowly lower, pushing the heels into the mat from the mid spine to the lower back, and hold that tuck forward, come back up from the low spine, the mid spine, the upper spine, and rolling it back down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Nice and slow and controlled. Let's get one more here, all the way up, and slowly lower that booty to the mat. Go ahead and grab your medium band, bring your legs together, and from here I want you to tighten it all the way around your legs, and now separate them about hip width distance apart. Perfect. We're gonna hold that tuck forward, so let's roll those hip bones up, bring your body up towards the ceiling, squeeze the glutes, and from here we push out against the band for eight, seven, Six, hold tension on it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back to neutral. Hold that tuck, slowly lower. We're gonna take that one more time. Lift up, tucking forward, squeeze the glutes all the way to your highest point. Push out for eight, seven, six, five. Coming back in line of the hips for three, for two, for one, now hold it wide for the last three, two, one, back to neutral and lower back down. From here, coming into an upright position, the right leg stays exactly where it is while the left leg pushes out. We're gonna switch at the halfway. So this leg's gonna wanna pull with you, don't let it. It's gonna be out to the side, back to neutral. In two, in one, to the left for eight, seven, nice and slow. Six, five, four, and in, three, and in, two, last one, hold it wide for three, two, one, back in, now switch to the right for seven, for six, for five, for four, torso tall, three, two, one more, hold it wide for three, two, one, and bring it back in. Going back into our bridge stance, again, tucking the hips forward, fingertips in the mat for support. If you'd like it to be a little harder, you can bring those hands up to center. And in 10 seconds, we're going to come up, open wide against the band, back to neutral, line with the hips, back down. Let's go, lift up, open, close, lower. 
still feeling for segment by segment and holding that tuck forward, squeezing those glutes and pressing wide against the band. If you want to tighten it up for more of a burn, feel free. Lift, open, close, lower. Lift, open, close, lower. We are now into our glute sequence down on the mat and we've finished our activation. Things should be waking up now. Lift, open, close, lower. Last time, two, three, and down. And coming into our next flow, hands below the shoulders facing the feet. Bring those feet in a little bit closer. Same movement, but from an upright position. Get a little bit of an arm workout in two here. We lift up, open, close, down, in two, in one, press through the heels, lift up, open wide, slow to close, and lower. The slower you go, the more it's going to burn. And down, lift, open, close, down. 25 seconds. I'm gonna let you focus for a moment here. Think about the muscle you're working. Open, close, lower. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Last one. Lower it down, and from here we come into a new position. So you can keep that band where it's at, or you might want to loosen it up a little bit, depending on your preference for self-torture. And by that, I mean intensity. So your hand again is directly below the shoulder. We're coming onto the knee. The top leg is going to lift, pump, lower, keeping both hips facing towards me. Torso is tall and upright. Lift, pump, lower. Lift, pump, lower, and flex that foot for me. We're working now into the glute med. That's that side booty area here. You're gonna feel it along the hip. Lift, pump, lower. Lift, pump, and slow, control. One, two, three, four. Almost hip level. If that band is really tight, might be a little bit lower. Last two. Last one, and lower it down. Over to that other side, same thing. Once again, if you don't have that band, it's all right. You're gonna come up to hip level. So you'd be right about here, okay? In five, still squeezing the outer hip. Flex that foot, three, two, one. Both hips are forward, lift, pump, slow to lower. One, two, three, four. All right, you're probably starting to feel it now, right? Lift, pump, slow to lower. After this, we're coming into our quadrant position, working more of the glutes, two more minutes here on the mat, and then we come up to standing. 15 seconds. Lift, pump, slowly lower. Last three. Last two. Stay tall on that spine. Last one. Burn that timer out and bring it in. Felt that, right? Congratulations on getting through your seven minutes of strength training with me. I'm here to wrap things up by letting you know that every one of these seven minute segments are a sneak preview at the 90 day program that I'll be working on behind the scenes. The new bodybuilding program that I'm currently in production on is going to provide you with a scientifically backed approach to building a lean physique from top to bottom using the same training methods I would use for myself. The results that you'll be getting from the new program will be unmatched to anything I've offered in the past. And while these seven minute strength segments are here to help, nothing is going to compare to the 90 day full package program that I'll be bringing your way, complete with 30 to 40 minute workouts and a play by day, 13 week series of new routines to take your strength and how you progress to an entirely new level. I'll be keeping you up to date on the process through my YouTube as well as through my Instagram, so make sure you're following both, that way I can keep you in the loop. It may take some time as it's no quick to do project, so please be patient with me and enjoy the workout snacks that I'll be posting for you until I can finalize the program and tell you when and where you'll be able to grab a hold of it. All right, everyone, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me before you head out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and I'll see you with the next new upload.